about the car. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, anybody has said anything about it yet or if you've gotten any offers. I think it'd be a good idea if uh, when you advertise in the paper to put down uh, the fact that it was red with white interior because that seems to attract more people. 1972, I found this car and I was uh, probably 18 years old and um, the current owner wouldn't let me purchase it. At that time we didn't know what had happened to Lance and so it was my goal to um, continue to believe he was coming home. <laughs> This was his. Oh, he loved this car. Oh, did he love this car. When he went to pilot training, there was a, a yearbook. As the photo editor, he would, um, he said, I'll, I'll go get the shot for the pretty girls. And so he'd pull up in this vet. Oh, Can you imagine? What a so magnet. He's in a, yes. He's in his uniform. He has this beautiful smile. And he had gotten such a plethora of girls. When he had the vet, uh, he would always pull into the front of the house on South Shore Drive. And somebody would spot him through the window. And we'd all come running out because Lance was home. He made me feel so special. He, he paid such attention to me and those those little moments that carried me for the rest of my life. When we were out at the Air Force Academy for graduation, we brought um, a young woman that he was seeing at the time from Milwaukee. So the whole family drove out there in our Oldsmobile 98. So there's one scene where my parents are um, obviously shooting from their car. So Lance is in the driver's seat, Lisa's in the passenger seat, and I'm right on the council. <laughs> I can imagine she felt like, great, we're taking your sister. <laughs> the last time I sat in this car would have been summer of 1967. Uh, that was the, the summer that he left for Vietnam. Wow. <laughs> That's got some guts in there, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's quite a fast car. A couple of months ago, somebody walked in my front office and said to me that um, they wanted to have a car show, that they would donate some of the proceeds from that car show to go towards um, moving Lance's aircraft. I found um, a couple of shots of him in the Corvette and I started talking about it a little bit and telling him how much this car meant to him. And I said, you know, I have the VIN number. I said, I, I found the car once back in the early 70s. And he said, uh, well, do you still have that? And I said, I do. And he said, well, you know, I'm an ex-cop. I can find anything. And I said, find it. The oral story that came with the car was that it was purchased from the family of a fellow who did not come back from Vietnam. So in September of this year, 2015, when a town of Summit uh, police car rolled to the end of our dead end road and asked if this was the Lawless household, I said, yes. Are you Greg Lawless? Yes. Do you own a 1965 Corvette? <laughs> I've known this car since the 70s. It belonged to a friend of mine, Steve. In 1996, uh, I got a call from another mutual friend, Barry, uh, who was Steve's childhood friend, and said Steve had kept the car and would I be interested in buying it. I drove the car as is. It had 64,000 miles on it, still ran great. I drove it for about three years and then decided to restore it. I always had it in mind that I was restoring a, a, a bit of history of, of, of Vietnam veterans. Now to know the full story of Captain Sai John, it's absolutely amazing to me and I'm honored to be able to share the story. Just a year uh, earlier from when I had connected with Greg, it wouldn't have been able to be found. It was in another state and we wouldn't have found it. And here it found its way back here. So I was just thrilled. So there is the cash delivered price, $4,200. And, four, <laughs> and 42, 14, and 25 cents. And so these were Lance's call signs. So it was AWOL 1 Bravo. So these are the two F4s that went out that night on that 52nd mission. So we shake hands and then we do this and you grab it That's and fine. it's yours. Yep, you're very welcome. We keep putting these little tangible um, pieces back together of him, and um, he was very attached to this car, and he bought it himself. <laughs> you
Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. We are gathered here today to honor four Americans for exceptional military gallantry in the service of our nation. All four of these men distinguished themselves above and beyond the call of duty. I deeply regret that one of the awards to the late Captain Lance P. Sigeon of the United States Air Force is posthumous. <laughs> 